How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today and in this video we are going to be talking about some brand new season 3 information that was very recently revealed in the form of a V-Jump text leak. Now this V-Jump leak actually goes over a ton of new information some of which we will probably cover a bit later on in a different video when we actually get the images for said leak. These things include a new training slash tutorial mode which gets you a reward upon completing it, more information about the fighters pass and how much it's going to cost. We already knew that there was going to be five characters and we could probably assume it was going to be dropping in price down to $20 but it also gets you a two day early access to the characters so it's nice to see it confirm that it is going to be a little bit cheaper. The V jump in question also goes over the fact that we will have multiple assists which we already knew and it covers Kefla's move list. Unfortunately though the translator here Giuna definitely go check him out by the way thank you for the translation doesn't actually watch Dragon Ball Super so we'll have to wait for that image to come out later on down the line uh, and see what we can determine from that. The really big piece of news and the reason I'm so excited to be doing this video though is because we got more information on the big comeback mechanic that we saw but they didn't really talk about in the trailer. The only thing we could really conclude from the trailer was that it would make your UI go golden and it would allow you to build an extra bar so Gohan goes from 4 to 5 in the trailer and that allows him to do his level 5 on Cell. Now personally speaking because that was all that was shown I kind of thought that was going to be all the system had to offer but it actually seems like it's going to be trying to tackle a ton more. Alright so without actually wasting any more of your time let's get into this X Factor mode, which is actually called Limit Break Ultimate Power. That's kind of a mouthful of a name. <laughs> the way this system works is when you are down to your last character, your gauges automatically turn a golden color and you get a big attack boost. This attack boost also stacks with your sparking. And don't get me wrong, I've seen how other people are taking it on the subreddit. I made sure to stop over there just to see what other people were thinking. And a lot of people are saying, oh man, now there's two comeback mechanics in the game. When in actuality, I kind of think they're trying to just make it so there's only one comeback mechanic in the game. Let me explain my thoughts here. In high level play for Dragon Ball Fighters, a lot of the time sparking is never, never used as like a last character comeback mechanic kind of thing. It's more often used as a get off me sort of tool just to make sure you're getting out of any dirty mix ups. In turn, players also use it to make sure they're keeping their characters alive early in the game. You don't want to drop too quickly from three characters to two because momentum like that in Dragon Ball Fighters is a very, very scary thing. Another way sparking had a ton of use was in TOD confirmed combos or just any combo that would kill them. If you landed a stray hit, had enough characters up and sparking, you could get some very good damage early on and try to get that character lead so you can swing the momentum your way. If you actually succeeded in doing that, after that point, your opponent's sparking was the last thing on your mind. That's why this limit break system is so interesting to me because I think it's the developers trying to turn sparking back into that comeback mechanic they were hoping it would be originally. With that said, however, there's no doubt in my mind that the system is going to be useful by itself. You're already going to get an extra bar you're gonna get that big golden aura UI change uh, and you're going to get that big attack boost That's the only thing I'm not too sure about is how big is that attack boost if it's sizable enough You will see some new BNB routes for sure uh, or at least the old BNB routes will hurt a lot more <laughs> But that could also change things up pretty drastically personally though I don't expect the attack boost to actually be that big It's kind of like a Broly level 3 after Broly's level 3 He gets a big attack boost, but it's really not all too noticeable if you're new to the game Don't get me wrong though the day damage in Broly's transform combos actually go up. So I'm sure this is going to be a system we grapple with in every game, pretty much. Another thing I really wanted to talk about and what Limit Break Ultimate Power does, and he actually mentions it down here, that the devs think the Limit Break will shake things up and recommends maybe saving your best character for last. Will this make anchor play more important than it already is in Dragon Ball Fighters? We all know how much of a good comeback character Super Saiyan Goku is, but what about Super Saiyan Goku with an extra bar and more damage? <laughs> Again, if the boost is seen as good enough, it will change how players play with their strongest characters and the characters players want on anchor when times get really tough. This is another thing I saw people talking about on the subreddit, but Kaioken times 20 Goku with level 3 sparking and the limit break? Whew! I mean, honestly, it's just a bunch of words. We don't know how that's actually going to look, but man, that would be so sick to see. <laughs> and the last big thing I wanted to talk about with limit break ultimate power, and it's not even really about just the system, but how the system could change the flow of the game overall. We've already talked about what players were using their sparking for in the past, those early get off me tools, that early save a character, or that early confirm for a combo so that you could kill one of your opponent's characters early. All I'm wondering now is will this change ultimately make Dragon Ball fighters a bit of a faster experience? Hear me out here, if players are incentivized not to spend their sparkings to save a character
character early in a situation where they might have lost it, which I still think they probably will. Really, I'm kind of doubting how big this system's going to be. I don't know if I'm going to regret that or not. But yeah, if players don't use their sparkings earlier, then nobody has to wait out that sparking timer and do specifically slower combos to try to draw out the time. And more often than not, if you get into a bad situation and you usually would sparking out, but you can't this time around, then you just lose a character and the game continues on as is. Obviously, we can't say for sure how it's going to play out, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And if that actually happens, I think this could overall be a pretty good thing for the game's health. Dragon Ball Fighters is a very, very long game to play in longer sets. So it would be nice if it could kind of be sped up by, I don't know, maybe a minute or just a couple seconds, something like that, just to get the overall flow back to a little bit of a quicker pace. But down below in the comments, definitely let me know your thoughts on this new X Factor comeback ability called the Limit Break Ultimate Power. Uh, is it a good thing in your opinion? Are you excited to test it out? Are you worried about it? All of those things, definitely let me know them down below in the comments. And while you're down there, if you like these news update videos and you want to stay up to date on everything Dragon Ball Fighters Season 3 related and other fighting games, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you want to watch more videos right away, there should be some up on your screen. So definitely give those a watch as well. Other than that, I've been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.